Local Weather Authority with Chief Meteorologist Jesse Walker. Welcome back, everybody. Don't forget, you can go to mywabashvalley.com. You click on the Weather tab, and there you will find the Winter Outlook, three versions, the video version, the printable version, and the version has lots of technical information. Also, I want to plug our sponsors again. Thanks to them again this year, Stadler, Dorsa, and Adams Memorials. All three of those locations will have uh, flyers, and they will also have um, some ice scrapers while they last. So if you're out and about, check those out. And the uh, flyers, of course, will have the Winter Outlook in there as well. We don't really have a lot of winter weather coming up, but we do have a little little bit probably coming up as we head through the next week or so. 52 the high today, that's above the average, and but 20 degrees below the record. So back in 1990 when we hit 72. 37 this morning, not all that bad. Four above, that's your record low. We set that back in 1930. No rain across the area today. It's really been a pretty good day. I mean, we had the clouds, but other than that, the temperatures have been above normal. There hasn't been a whole lot of wind, so it's really been a pretty good Friday across the area. Sunrise, sunset tomorrow as we start the weekend. Nine hours, 39 minutes of daylight. River Station Terre Haute is rising, as you might expect with the recent rain. It's at eight feet on the way up. Right now at the airport in Terre Haute, 49. Relative humidity, 77%. Winds are northwest at six. Pressures at 30.13. That's up just a little bit now. Temperatures pretty much in the 40s to near 50. We have a 50 in Washington, 51 Vincennes, a 44 up in Crawfordsville, and 46 over in Paris, Illinois on the water vapor satellite. Moisture being suppressed to the south and some drier air is trying to work in. And as that drier air works in here, we'll start to see some breaks in the clouds. So again, southern system way down here not going to impact us. Around here we have low clouds, but the clouds are actually breaking up now and starting to move out. So west and north, we've already started to see partly cloudy skies, and we're looking at a partly cloudy night tonight. Nothing showing up on the Dorsa Automotive Doppler radar. Should be all dry tonight. So again, north and west, we're seeing the clouds clear out. We'll be looking at partly cloudy overnight. Tomorrow looks like a good day. Sunshine, which makes it feel better, not a ton of wind, and temperature still a little bit above normal. So a good day tomorrow. Sunday looks pretty good until the day goes on late in the day, and clouds will start to roll in. And I think eventually by mid-afternoon or so, we're looking at mostly cloudy, but both days should be dry. Longer term, the southern branch of the jet stream is going to bring a storm in from the south. So as we get into about midnight Sunday night, Start to see some rain showers. As some colder air comes in, mostly east of here, we'll see this change to a little bit of a rain snow mix. I think it's more probably east of us. And then behind that, we'll see some colder weather, but drier weather as we head into Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. As far as the temperature trends, you'll see the colder air coming behind that storm as we get into Monday and Tuesday. Right there, it will modify a little bit. It gets a little bit warmer later on. However, as, as we do look at the first part of December now, this is now December the 5th through the 11th, we are anticipating temperatures maybe just a little bit below normal. Forecast for tonight, then partly cloudy. It will be colder tonight, a few degrees below the freezing mark, down to 28. During the day tomorrow, not a bad day. Sunshine, nice, really. Wind southwest, 5 to 10, highs approaching 50. And then after that, it looks like a pretty good day on Sunday, but more clouds will move in. Daytime high of 50. Colder weather as we start early next week. Could be a few light rain, snow showers Monday and again next Friday, but temperatures back in the 40s late next week. That is your forecast. Sports coming up right after the break.